Ja. Ja. Mm. Hi everybody and welcome back to the life of Nello. Today we'll talk about separation anxiety and lots of Italian greyhounds struggle to stay home alone. So I made a list of eight tips to help you to train your Italian greyhound to stay alone. Let's get started. So first of all, what is separation anxiety? Separation anxiety is a condition where your dog will feel super stressed when you leave the house and they might start howling, barking, whining the whole time you're gone or they might uh, scratch on the walls, chew up everything they find and they are just feeling miserable while you're gone and that is not a good condition neither for you nor for the puppy. Yes, Italian greyhounds are super super clingy and therefore it is quite challenging to teach them to stay home alone, but it is not impossible. I would say that every Italian greyhound can be left alone for around four to five hours with the right training. So what can be done to train your Italian greyhound to stay home alone? Tip number one, start training from the day you get your puppy. And by training, I don't necessarily mean you have to leave the house. You can just start with small little things like leaving the room when they're sleeping or not allowing them to follow you everywhere you go. For example, when you go to the bathroom, you close the door behind you and they have to wait outside. So tip number two is, Pretend you are leaving when you're actually not going anywhere. <laughs> so that means you get your keys, you get your jackets, you get your bag, you pretend like you're leaving so you're going outside but you're waiting right in front of the door and you return inside shortly after. And you want to repeat this over and over again until your dog gets really bored. You want that. You want him to realize you're always coming back and you won't be gone for very long. You want your dog to be super fine with you getting your stuff and leaving. Leaving. <laughs> Up. Super. So once your dog is fine with you leaving the house over and over again, you can, tip number three, slowly stretch out the time spans of your departure. So that means first you leave for five minutes and then you return, then you leave for 10 minutes and you return and then you leave for 15 minutes and so on and so on. But make sure you only return when your dog is quiet because when they're howling or whining, barking, whatever, and you come back, they will learn that howling and barking will bring you back and you don't want that. You want to make sure your dog is calm and super quiet while you're gone. Tip number four, to find out what your dog is doing, get a camera to monitor your dog while you're gone. Um, there are different uh, kinds of cameras you can get. All of them have different functions. Um, if you don't want to spend a whole lot of money on a camera, you can also just make a video call with a tablet and your phone, for example, or download an app. There are several apps available um, where you can even talk to your dog while you're gone. This can be very helpful because you're probably a little bit concerned your dog is not okay while you're gone and this gives you the option to totally watch what they're doing and will make it easier for you to be gone. <laughs> Tip number five is limit your puppy's space because some dogs um, just feel safer in a, in a smaller area. You can either, if your dog is crate trained, you can put them in a crate or just leave them in one room and close the door. The room should be 100% dog safe, so don't leave anything laying around they might chew and choke on and um, make sure they can't jump on the table and jump back down and break their leg, for example. This can be very helpful for some dogs. Tip number six, don't make a big deal out of the whole thing of leaving them alone. So when you leave, don't say goodbye like crazy because your dog will only get suspicious and realize something is wrong and you don't want that. You want your dog to feel that leaving them alone is just as normal as being with them. So when you leave the house, just leave, don't say anything. And the same applies to when you come back, you don't want to greet them like crazy and be all excited because then your dog will only wait for this very moment until you return. And you, you want them to relax while you're gone and you don't want them to wait for anything. So when you come back, just 
go back inside without really saying hi. And once they've calmed down, because Italian greyhounds tend to freak out like crazy when, when their owner comes back, once they've calmed down, you can say hi, but not overly dramatic. <laughs> Tip number seven, go for a long walk with them before you leave them alone. Because then they will be really, really tired and a tired puppy doesn't even have time to miss their owner because they will be sleeping most of the time. They won't be thinking about whether you're coming back or not. They will just sleep. So this is very helpful for leaving them alone. And tip number eight, leave them with something fun for distraction. Get like a plush toy or maybe um, a, a toy filled with a nice yummy treat, like a Kong, for example, filled with peanut butter or something like that, that will keep them busy. It's just like while they're sleeping, it's the same when they're busy, they won't be able to miss you too much. Also, they will be really um, happy when you leave because they know they will get something fun, something they don't normally get. But don't leave them with a chew or something they might choke on. Just safe toys that are not dangerous at all. All right, so I hope those eight tips were helpful for you. Just know that it might take a while until your Italian Greyhound is okay with being home alone. For us, it took quite a while until I was comfortable with leaving Nello alone, but I'm, I promise you that your training will pay off. I hope you liked our video. If you did, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and leave us a thumbs up and we'll see you in our next video. Bye.